Hello, welcome to Bella's Big Adventures. My name's Sue and today we are grounded. We are on lockdown again in Slovakia. So I thought I'd take a look at a new product I've bought with my own money. It's not sponsored in any way. And I've been thinking about getting one of these for quite some time. It's a Ramoska. Uh, it was invented in the Czech Republic in the 1950s. And the reason I've considered it for quite some time is because, as you may know, if you've watched previous videos of ours, we uh, have a Heimer i880 which we purchased secondhand and it doesn't have an oven or a grill or a microwave and lots of people were sort of astounded that we've managed to go for almost a year now without having an oven and we debated whether or not we really needed one and in fairness we haven't really missed having a full-sized oven the reason we decided not to get an oven is because it would take up quite a lot of the storage we use um, of drawers and things um, we do have a fabulous hob which has two gas burners and a halogen burner and we do a lot of stove top cooking in the summertime obviously we've got a, a large weber barbecue i finally gave in after looking at social media and lots of other motorhomers who've recommended getting one of these so i thought i'd take a look at it today it's the ramoska tria and as the name might suggest comes with three different types of lid so let's take a quick look at the pot so it's a 4.5 litre pot uh, it's got um, heat proof handles it can actually go in the oven as well as on a stove top the base is a cast aluminium cooking pot and it has been Teflon coated basically to make it non-stick but you do need to wash it out, oil it with a little bit of oil and wipe it out and if you're using it on a stove top they recommend that you preheat it for a little while. So the standard top is this one and it has an electric cable that plugs into the end here and it has a lovely switch on the top, easy access on and off so that you don't, you know, you're not fumbling. The old one used to have a switch on to the bottom apparently. It also now has a glass hole in the top so you can see how the food's getting on. When you're putting it down, when it's hot, you need to make sure you put it that side down. It's got a little lip on the lid here to stand it up off the counter. The heating element is this section here and that fits just on the top of the pot there comes with another lid which is the soft pressure lid so it works a bit like a pressure cooker so that sits on the top here as you can see if you don't squeeze the handles it doesn't sit on properly you squeeze the handles put one in press down firmly to make sure that this little dial here is solid black if there's any red showing in it it's not properly fitted there's a steam ball here which will lift up when the steam pressure increases and when you're opening it up again, you obviously need to remember that it's hot, there's lots of steam, and to squeeze the handles and tip it slightly away from you so it's not bellowing into your face. And then we have an ordinary glass lid with a silicon seal. So if you want to make stews or soups on the stove top, uh, you can do. So that just sits on the top there like that. And it means you can lift it up and down and put it straight in the oven or on the hob top. It has got a little vent here, which you need to check is clear every now and then to make sure it isn't got gunked up with food and things like that. So yeah, so that's the Ramoska Tria. And I'm quite impressed so far. It's a solid feeling object. Um, they're not cheap, um, but they're reasonably small. It claims to be 6.5 kilograms. So if your weight's an issue, then, but then an oven is gonna weigh a lot more than that. So, you know, it swings and roundabouts really, isn't it? It doesn't come with any instructions in terms of how long to cook things for so it is going to be a bit of trial and error but yeah so it's a really good sized pot um i'm looking forward to testing it out i did actually get a free gift with this one um which is a ramoska cooking utensil set obviously you can't use metal utensils on this product because it is non-stick coated and it's quite cute you get your usual spatulas but the actual uh, holder is a cheese grater so best of both worlds and all it catches your cheese so yeah you've got a, a ladle you've got a, a sieve spoon you've got a solid spoon and a flippy thing for your eggs and things like that uh, it is supposed to have a spaghetti spoon as well but mine's missing they've actually put in a second solid spoon but it was free okay right well we've got some ingredients and we're going to start cooking and see how it works so we've got a nice chicken, we've got some carrots and some potatoes. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is put a good glug of olive oil in the bottom. And then I'm going to lay the chicken 
breast side down to start with. Spread his feet out a little bit and get rid of that and wash my hands. Just going to try a little bit of this moisture off him. Okay, touch more oil so he doesn't dry out. You could use butter or whatever you prefer, obviously. So I'm going to give him a little while, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, while I parboil the potatoes and see how we get on. And then after a while, I will turn it back over so that the breast is face side up. Obviously it's top heat, so I don't want to dry out the breast. Okay, lid on. Turn on the switch and it's away. I'm not quite sure how long it takes to warm up or anything, but obviously this is going to get hot, so you've got to be careful. Well, I'll get on with chopping the potatoes and parboiling them. Right, it's been on for about 20 minutes, so I'm just going to have a quick look. Hopefully don't steam up the camera. Oh, that's looking quite good, I think. Right, I'm just going to shake the potatoes about to ruffle them up a little bit so they crisp better. I'll turn this chicken over and add the potatoes. Now, as I said before, when you're cooking with it, the bottom is hot. You need to stand it on its lip so you don't burn anything. Now hopefully, we'll be able to turn this chicken over. It is a non-stick pan after all. Turn that over. Looking a bit anemic on the top. And we'll add some potatoes that I have just shaken about in the colander to fluff them up a bit. I'm not sure whether I'll get them all in, but they need to sit underneath the chicken so it gets some lovely juices on it. Okay, let's add the carrots, shall we? It's looking quite nice now. Obviously the chicken will need to rest, so while it's resting, it's looking quite well cooked. It might even be done. Let's just put that down. Give it a little prod. Juices seem to be already running quite clear. The chicken will need to rest, so I'll take it out and let the potatoes and carrots carry on cooking. Okay, let's see. Sorry if I've steamed up the camera again. And put the prong in just to be sure. Hopefully it'll come out in one piece and I won't burn myself. Keep those lovely juices. The side handles are warm, they're not hot, so I can just tip. Give them a little shimmy out and get the lid back on. And now I've got some lovely chicken stock juice ready to make my gravy. Well, we were so hungry by the time I finished cooking it, I completely forgot to record the plate of food. But I can confirm it was delicious. It took slightly longer than anticipated. But anyway, it worked brilliantly. So well worth a purchase, I'd say, so far. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider it. It does help the channel. So thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.